Chapter 1 A Little Boy You are listening at FameTV.info A little boy between 11 and 12 years of age, whose body was covered with injuries, leaned against the electric pole, lying in the rubbish heap, with dull eyes looked at the infinite night sky. The wounds on his body had been festering and yellow pus was oozing, emitting an unpleasant smell. He almost did not have an inch of good skin on him and without consuming food for several days, he could only breathe weakly. His terrible scars were all masterpieces of his own father. When he was five years old, his mother ran off with another man, his father indulged in gambling, sex, drank all day and did not work. Their only source of income came from him, a boy less than twelve years old, who stole and begged to feed his father. If the income was not enough for his father to spend on his sins, his father would kick and punch him to vent his anger. For him, body injury was common and his father had said that body injuries would gain sympathy and begging would bring in more money. So, he was always beaten, again and again, each time, more powerful than the last. Perhaps he did not want to live and thus he would stand obediently when his father beat him with clothes hangers, sticks and even iron bars. Actually, death was not that fearful, he even looked forward to its arrival. To have such a father, it would be better to die. His eyes slowly began to lax, he was slipping into a coma when suddenly a flash of light shone into his pupils. His eyes closed in reflex and after a moment, he tried to open his heavy eyelids. I must be dying. He thought. Because he actually saw an angel. A girl wearing a white dress, with curly hair, clean and pretty, squatted in front of him. With her head tilted, stared at him with her wide dot open eyes. Are you hurt? I. He wanted to answer her but his throat was dry and it was difficult for him to speak. Ying Xian, how is his condition? A man about forty years old squatted beside his six-dot-year-dot-old daughter and looked at the boy lying on the ground. Dad, it looks like he is seriously injured. He did not answer me, little brother, what is your name? I. The boy swallowed his saliva with difficulty and could barely answer. My name is Mu Zheng, Mu Zheng, you need medical treatment immediately. Bear for a little while longer. I will call the driver to bring the car over. Ying Xian, help him with his wounds, bear for a while longer, the man patted Mu Zheng's head and then turned to call for the driver. Mu Zheng, you have to hold on, the girl took out a clean and fragrant handkerchief from her pocket, carefully pressed out the pus from the wounds on his forehead. Mu Zheng's sight gradually fogged up and he could no longer see the girl's face but he knew that she was very beautiful. Her heart got very beautiful. He has been wandering around for several days and everyone who saw him avoided him for fear of getting into trouble. But this girl, like an angel, had no regards for the foul smell and dirty environment but also cleaned his wounds. To be able to meet such an angel, he could die without regret. Mu Zheng, wake up. Do not sleep. Mu Zheng tried to smile, slowly closed his eyes. He told himself that if he could wake up again, he must repay the grace of this angel. Whatever price, he must. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.